Okay, uh, I'm back uh, the next day. Let's see, yesterday uh, Chrono got killed by Lavos and we are... Uh, whatever happened now, uh, oh right, everything fell. And we're, we're still in like the 12,000 BC or whatever. more of this. Oh yeah, we can just fill up on everything. Is that another one? Yeah, I'm, I must have had two. Anyway. Okay, what do I... Uh, Alright, yeah, we are all weaponless. Uh, I guess it's a good thing I've been powering up Isla. Ah, oh, that ship. Just go out that way. Not sure where I'm supposed to go, but uh, well. Oh right, she's not berserk anymore because she's uh, lost her thing. Oh, the other guys. I thought they'd be able to at least uh, use magic. Or why that is? Yeah, it's strange that they can't even uh, like get their turn and use magic. Where do 
we... Okay, that was, that was where I went, I think. Anyway, uh, I guess while I wander around, um... Ah, this must be some of my stuff. Anyways, while I wander around, uh, the Nintendo Direct, uh, happened last night. Uh, and there was, I don't know, a couple interesting things. Um, I've got a list of the direct things here. Uh, they started off with the Fire Emblem Warriors, Three Hopes. Uh, probably not going to get that. Uh, yeah, I didn't really, I don't really care for Fire Emblem that much. If that doesn't help. Uh, and there's plenty of other Warriors games to play, uh, like the Zelda one I mentioned, so... Yeah, but I guess it, I don't know, it looks cool for people who are into that. Um, next was Advance Wars 1 and 2, uh, the remake of it. Uh, I'm not gonna get that, uh, I played Advance Wars a ton back on the Game Boy Advance. Like, I got all of them, I played every one of them just over and over and I beat everything and uh, you know, played multiplayer with my friends and everything but uh, you know so I'm just I'm not really interested in beating it again but uh, they are really really good so uh, highly recommend that and uh, I guess hopefully I don't know maybe if it does well you know we'll end up getting a new fire uh, a new advance wars someday that would be cool. Alright, now does this, uh... Okay, good. She's all, uh, equipped automatically. Oh, uh, now am I... I hope I don't have to get everybody's equipment back. Like, uh, Robo and Luca and, uh, whoever else. Uh, I hope it's just... Well, I guess, yeah, it'd be what five sets of equipment I guess to get total yeah so maybe that wouldn't five plus the money so that wouldn't be so bad huh? oh, I see okay so I come down here I can't get Oh, well, I can just reverse that. I was gonna say, okay, I gotta get back up into the rafters and then, uh, head back the other way, but... I don't know. Yeah, so if they, if they end up making a new Advance Wars game sometime, I would definitely get that. Uh, I had played Tiny Metal, uh, Tiny Metal 1. I haven't played, I think there's two, but I haven't played it yet. But I did play one. And it was, it was good, but not as good as Advance Wars. So I am hoping we, uh, they do make, like, another Advance Wars sometime. What? After that, uh, there's No Man's Sky, Mario Strikers, Splatoon 3, uh, no interest in any of those really, uh, don't care for No Man's Sky, don't really play sports games, even, uh, I've played some Mario sports games that were okay, like the Mario Tennis, I played a ton of that, but, uh, okay, that's good, um, 
Yeah, Splatoon 3, I don't play online games, so... Uh, next, uh, coincidentally, I had just talked yesterday about uh, wanting to play through uh, Front Mission 1 again. Or, to the, you know, to completion sometime. Uh, and they announced uh, Front Mission 1, a remake of it. And also, uh, I guess, for 2. Uh, I haven't played any of the other Front Mission games, just part of 1. I uh, don't know if I'll get this. Uh, I think I'd probably rather just emulate it. But I don't know what the art style is. I, well, I guess I did see a little bit of it. I don't really... I prefer the SNES uh, art style, and also it means I can fast-forward it. So, but yeah, it's... Uh, I guess if it leads to... Uh, I'll probably see how much it is. I guess it's Square Enix... Uh, they're probably gonna charge 50 bucks or whatever for it. If if it does happen to be like 20, maybe I'll get it, but I don't know. Uh, next there was, what, Disney Speed Storm. Uh, it was like a free-to-play Disney racing game. Uh, don't really care. What, Star Wars Force Unleashed. I think that was kind of like the Souls style game, uh, but Star Wars, I don't know. If, if I was going to play it, I'd play it on PC. I prefer PC when possible. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, there was uh, Assassin's Creed game. Never played any of them. Don't don't really care. Uh, SD Gundam Battle Alliance. Again, don't really uh, really care too much. I have seen some of the like Gundam anime, and I you know I like them enough, and I've got some Gundam models, but I don't like not really a huge fan. Uh, and I like some of like the robot, like the big robot things, but. Uh, I don't really like the style of like the main Gundam characters. Uh, most of the Gundam models I've got are like the, the weirder ones. Uh, like I've got like the uh, it's kind of like a dog-shaped Gundam uh, from like Gundam Seed and uh, some of like the really kind of like thin, lanky Gundam ones uh, from I think I don't know whatever was after Seed uh, or Seed Two or Destiny or whatever. But yeah, I don't, uh, I don't really care about Gundam that much. Uh, next, uh, another kind of coincidental one, uh, Chrono Cross uh, Radical Dreamers Edition. Uh, yeah, so it's got, it looks like it's just an upscale of Chrono Cross, and then they're adding the Radical Dreamers uh, text adventure thing. Uh, that is one, I don't know, I think I had tried emulating it at one point, but it just didn't work, I guess, with whatever emulator I was using. Uh, plus, I, you know, I hadn't played this at the time, so there wasn't really that much point anyways. But uh, I guess that's good if they're doing that. Um, I don't really like how Chrono Cross looks in it, because it's... They're doing just like the, it looks like it's just uh, AI upscaling the textures and stuff, which, I don't know, I don't like the kind of mix of like the blocky, low res, uh, you know, uh, PS1 era uh, 3D models alongside like the super high res textures. It just looks weird. I don't like that kind of mix match of styles. Uh, you know, if they re if we're, they're redoing all the models too, I might get it, but I don't know. Plus, again, if I'm playing it on, uh, like I do plan to play it sometime, especially like after I've beaten this. But when I am gonna play it, it's gonna be on just the PS1 emulator because then I can fast forward and stuff. Uh, I know they are adding. Uh, 
Starting something where you can turn off the random encounters, which that would help, but uh, it's still not quite what I... You know, I'd still rather just be able to fast forward through them. Alright, uh... Got everything back except for... Okay, we can't switch characters now. Uh, so what... What would I have done if I didn't have Isla on my team? Uh, would I just be, like, screwed? Or would I have to sneak around and... Uh... So I got got all in there. Uh, got all in there. Uh, like I think I've got everything now. I guess, uh... Maybe I can fall down this thing now, now that I've got everything. Okay, I can... Look through, uh... Uh, okay, uh... I don't really get it, what, um, what I'm supposed to do. I think I might just take a quick break here and uh, check what's uh, what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna pause for a second and uh, check the guide. Okay, I think I maybe know where to go now. Yeah, okay. Good. I uh, Oh, we're on the wing. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
oh good, I thought maybe I just got too far south there and he's just gonna get sucked off and get game over. Alright, so there's a boss, uh, but we are kind of overpowered, so... Yeah, so I don't. Probably not gonna get the Chrono Cross. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be like 20 bucks or so, I think. And I don't really like the art style. I don't like that mix of like low res uh, polygons with super high res uh, uh, textures. And like the other thing, like the menus, they look. Uh, I don't know, they, they take like the menus and all that that were drawn for like really low res, so they're really low detail, and then they like super smooth them out, and then they just look kind of like sparse. Like you've got like some like really, you know, really low detail stuff blown up into like super, uh, you know, super high res, and it just, it doesn't look very good I find. So I think when I do play that, it's probably just going to be like a PS1 emulator. Uh, let's see next, they showed some more of the Kirby game, which looks good. Probably going to get that. And I'll wait and see until you know I just hear some of the reviews and stuff, because I know Kirby games do tend to be super easy, and I'm worried it's just going to be like, you know, baby's first open world game or whatever. Oh good, he's not even going to attack, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'll just see that it's not like super easy or anything, but it does look good. It looks a lot like uh, Mario Odyssey. Uh, next there was a uh, baseball game, Air. Uh, something about Kingdom Hearts, I kind of skipped over that actually played some of the Kingdom Hearts games, you know, they're they're okay. I'm not like super psyched for it or anything, but yeah, I'll I don't know. If it's really good or something, maybe I'll get it, but I'm not like really looking forward to it or anything. Uh, next there was uh, Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. I think I played a couple minutes of one of the Klonoa games on like Wii or something, but it was just a case of like just trying out a whole bunch of different games and it, I, don't, I didn't really stick with it or anything, so don't really care too much. Uh, the only thing is I saw Fantasy in there, uh, in the title, and I immediately was like, oh, Fantasy Star. But, uh, no, it's got nothing to do with that. Someone has got a heal Isla.
Alright, what are we doing here? I guess I go up to the cape. Oh, so he is the little kid. Okay. Uh... 
Ah, cool. Okay, uh... Blackbird? No. Uh, I save out here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, am I supposed to go in there? Black Omen. That's nice, he's got everything. I was just checking out the guide here, and uh, it says I can revive Chrono if I go to the end of the time. Uh, end of time now, apparently. So I guess uh, I want to do that. Yeah, I guess this. I guess the game's got quite a few endings where you can. Oh, okay. I should have uh, disembarked. Uh, plus, it's good to save. Uh...
Uh, okay. Um... Supposed to go back to twenty three hundred. All right, yeah, I'm just kind of following the guide here now. I don't. Uh... Yeah, I guess. Uh... Yeah, I'm supposed to. Oh wow, that's that's in every time period. That's cool. I guess it is. Uh... How do I... Oh. Oh, I suppose I... This would be a good time to go, go around and collect all that stuff, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I really want to do that or not. game that was in the Nintendo Direct. Uh, there was Portal. Um, I played Portal 1. That was like one of the first games I got back when I first got like a gaming capable PC. Uh, I played a bit of Portal 2 but I seem to remember I had it, there was some problem with like my graphics card or something. I I tried and tried to get it working and it just it just kept not working and finally I I don't know I updated my drivers or something and I, don't know, I did tweak some settings or something and I managed to get it to work and then like Windows update happened and it stopped working again and so then I was just like okay it's uh, this isn't happening and I just kind of never played it again all right there's the festival Right, actually, there's... Where is the... Uh... There's one up here, I think. Uh, one of those chests. Right, uh, I don't know why they bother attacking me, but anyways. Um, yeah, I'm not going to probably get Portal. Uh, next, they announced Live Alive. Uh, and this is... Yeah, I've talked about that before. That it's an amazing game. Uh, I rank it up there. It's there with like Final Fantasy VI and Chrono Trigger and like Terra Enigma. Uh, you know, it's just it's so good. Uh, it's one of my. It's probably my favorite JRPG actually. There was supposed to be a thing in here somewhere. Yeah, just over here, right? Am I in the wrong time period or something? Uh, so yeah, it it's really good that more people will play that. Uh, again, it's got that Square Enix 2D to 3D high res art style or whatever that I don't like. Uh, same similar reason to the Chrono Trigger remake. It's like the you know, it's got the 2D, the same 2D sprites as they used on the Super Nintendo, but then they are like blown up and uh, they've got all these like uh, special effects added over top and I don't know, it's just this weird kind of I don't know, like uncanny valley kind of effect of like 
the really the low res sprites and all the high res uh, special effects and stuff. It just I don't think it looks good. Uh... Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna bother getting all the, the items. I I don't know if they're just tabs or what, but. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna bother. Uh, just the guy. No, uh. Oh, uh. Should be looking for someone in here. I assume he's in here. I thought maybe Isla would have a, uh, I don't know, some unique uh, interaction there. guide. I, I was looking for like an old man or something. Right, I guess this is probably the best way to get them. Check how many points I need. Uh, the... 
Uh, okay, I need 40 points, apparently. Is there like a point card or something where I can see how many I've got? Ah, uh, 44 points, okay. Ah, uh, wrong. That was bad. Alright, uh... I'm gonna break the recording and, uh... try and do this. Uh, it's gonna be really boring just hitting that bell over and over again. And, uh... Then I don't, I don't know, I guess I'll save and stuff before doing it. Uh, then if I fail, I can... Try again. All right, uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, I did it. Uh, I ended up paying ten thousand gold because I got it wrong eventually, but uh, good enough. Where is? Uh, I get off here. Residence, market, inn. Oh, the inn had a test. a tab or something. Oh, blue vest. Okay. Alright, I guess they have equipment in them. That's a bit more interesting. Not even that great, though. Like, absorbing 50% of water is okay, but... house, is it? No. Uh, anyway, yeah, so I, I don't like the art style, so I'm probably not going to get it. Plus, I've already played it, and I'd rather play new games, but uh, and it is, it's $50, I think. It's like, yeah, 50 or 60 or something. Like, it's a full price game. Uh, I don't know, if they were doing it in some other art style, like if it was going to be full 3D, or if they were redrawing them so that it looked like Paper Mario or something, I probably would get it. Or if, you know, if it was $10 or whatever, I'd get it, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not... Uh... 
she doesn't find it strange that Chrono's got like a life-size perfect clone of himself in there. Uh, next there was uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. Uh, not really interested. Uh, Cycle Mokatsu same thing. Uh, Triangle Strategy. That's another one where I want to see, like, I don't I'm kind of peculiar when it comes to, like, tactical RPGs. I really like some of them, and I really don't like some of them. So I want to just see exactly what uh, what's going on with it. Yeah, it must be in the other time period. Saying I need to go get some dolls from the festival too. I need a couple more points. Actually, there was a there was a robot you can beat up to get points. Uh, that should probably be pretty easy now. Yeah, this guy. I should be able to one shot him. So this is a much better way. Even come back. Uh, next. Yeah, so triangle strategy. I want to see just exactly, you know, how it works. Uh, I like tactical RPGs that have generic characters that can, like, change classes and stuff. Uh, and if they've got some, like, named set characters, then that's okay, but I don't really like them when they're... Uh, some of them, like Disgaea, where, like, they're so generic that every character can just easily change to any class and get any, any spell, any, use any item and stuff, and they're just... There's, like, no differentiating between the characters, they're all just kind of, like, generic blobs that can do anything. But I also don't like them where it's when it's like Fire Emblem, where every character is set and they've got their own name and class and stuff, and... Uh, yeah, so I like them when they're kind of like Final Fantasy Tactics or uh, Tactics Ogre. I like ones like that. Uh, but a lot of them skew heavily to, you know, the, the opposite ends there, where you've got like Disgaea, where... They're all super generic, and there's no no change between them. Or uh, Fire Emblem, where they're all like set in stone. So yeah, if it does happen to be like Tactics Ogre, I'll probably get it. Even though, again, it's the same 2D, 3D art style that I do not like at all. But granted, I haven't actually played played a game with that art style, so maybe it's okay when you're actually playing it. Uh, but just looking at it, I, it doesn't appeal to me at all. Uh, but then that's kind of like the, the Ghosts and Goblins game that came out recently. When you look at it in screenshots, it doesn't look good. But in the actual game, it's not so bad, so I don't know. Uh, they announced there was some Cuphead stuff. I've never played that, don't care. Uh, Uh, 
uh, Metroid Dread update. Uh, I think they're adding like one hit death mode and easy mode, which neither of those interest me. Well, I haven't actually played that game yet, and I don't, don't think I'm gonna, so... Yeah, uh... Let's see, uh, according to the guide, 10 points lets me play a game, uh... Where I can win the Poyozo dolls. So I should have, and I need three of them apparently. Ah, okay. Uh... Alright, so I gotta go back to the lab. Uh, yeah, so Metroid Dread, uh, one-shot mode doesn't really interest me. Easy mode, I don't see the point. Uh, next, they're adding Earthbound to the Earthbound 1 and 2, or Mother 1 and 2 to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I've played one of them, I don't remember which one, because, you know, there's the confusion with, like, Earthbound 1 is Mother 2 and whatever, so... Uh, I think it was... I think I played, like, the original uh, Mother. I think that was the one I did. Alright, so I need to bet 10 points. Uh, okay, I'll just guess. Alright, I'll, uh, I wasn't exactly sure what was going to be happening there, so... I'll pay a bit more attention this time. Alright. Vix. Vix and Wedge are left and right, so... Alright, I think what I should... Instead of trying to keep track of two of them, I should just watch one. And then I'll have a... Hmm, what will it be? A 33 plus half of... Uh... I'll have like an 80% chance of getting it right if I just watch one. Because I'll have a 33% chance of him picking the one I picked. And then uh, if he doesn't, no, it'll be maybe a 66% chance of getting it right. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll just watch one of them. So I'm going to watch Vix. Okay, Vix is in the middle, I think. Uh, so that may... Okay. Uh, it's hard with the sprites when they overlap each other. Uh, you, you can't tell when they split apart then. I, I guess I should be having like a 1 in th 3 chance of getting it right anyways. Even if I'm just guessing. So I'll watch Vix again. Right, I think he's in the middle. horrible yeah if they would if they would never completely overlap where they're in the exact same spot i think like when that happens you can't tell there's nothing to All right uh i'm gonna check the guide uh There's there's nothing to do about it. It's you just gotta watch. Alright, 
I can't believe I haven't gotten any right yet. Uh, anyways, yeah, Earthbound. Uh, I'm not going to play them on that. If I was going to play... Uh, if I was going to play them, which one was good, and uh, I would like to play the other ones sometime. All right. Yeah, I wasn't even watching that, so... Uh, yeah, if I was gonna play the other ones, I'd, uh, I'm gonna play them on an emulator so I can, like, fast-forward and save state and, uh, stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember if you- I know you can save state in the Switch thing, it's kind of awkward to do. Uh, and... I don't- I don't remember if you can fast-forward, but to me that's, like, a- that's necessary to play a JRPG. Uh, plus the Switch emulator thing, I don't... It's got, like, the ugly border on the side all the time, and your, like, icon up on the top. So, I'm just gonna play it on a Super Nintendo emulator. Uh, it's... That's just the better way to play it. But, uh, I guess it is good that they're going... You know, that they're bringing it out. Same thing, like, maybe this will get them kind of, you know, if it's really popular or whatever, maybe they'll end up making another one. You know, or I think there is, there's something where, like, they've got, uh, one of them's not translated or something, and, uh, I don't know, yeah, if they made a new one or they translated the untranslated one, that'd be good. Yeah, I I cannot follow them. It what? Alright, the, the guide mentions I should have been able to get three Piozo dolls, but... Ah, uh, but I don't... I don't see any. Uh... Alright, I'm going to take a break and kind of uh, investigate what's going on here. Uh, the guide says I'm supposed to be able to just win that three times to get three Piozo dolls, and that's what I need for the next section, but... Uh, I thought I got one there, and then it wasn't actually in Chrono's house. So I, I don't know what's going on. I just want to investigate this, and uh, it's getting close to lunch. <laughs> 